बॉन्डी मीन सॉलिड्स एटम्स एंड द मॉलिक्यूल्स दे आर हेल्प टू गैदर बाय द स्ट्रॉन्ग फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन एंड द बॉन्ड्स टेक्स प्लेस यूजली दिस फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन इज इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक इन नेचर in bonds there are mainly two types that is the primary bond and secondary bonds this primary bond is also called as the chemical bonding chemical bond and this is secondary bond means it is the molecular bonds this primary or the chemical bond is the strongest bond between the atoms and the secondary bond it is the attractive or the van der waals forces due to those forces this secondary bond is created primary bond include ionic bonds covalent bonds and the metallic bonds ionic covalent and metallic and these uh, secondary bonds or the molecular bonds they include dispersion bond dipole bond and hydrogen bond dispersion dipole bond and hydrogen bond let's see one by one these things first one is the ionic bond okay let's see about this when i tell this ionic bond suddenly we think about uh, salt that's nacl salt is an inorganic compound therefore these ionic bonds they usually formed or mainly formed in the inorganic compounds like um, nacl or um, potassium hydroxide koh etc if i have a pure element then it will not form the ionic bond it's only formed in inorganic compounds it will not form in a uh, pure elements if i take on single pure element then there is no the formation of the ionic bonds ionic bond means it is the attractive force between the positive and the negative ions if i have a positive ion here and negative ion here then the attractive force between this is the ionic bond here mainly we can see here itself two uh, kinds of atoms are involved that is one which loses the electron one which loses electron and another is the another atom which gains the electrons which gain the electron lose one atom which loses the electrons is called as electropositive and which gain the electron the atom which gain the electron from the other atoms is called as the electro negative because when gaining the electrons it becomes negative in its charge here in this case it loses the electrons and becomes positive if we consider the example and we can understand it better okay uh nacl let's consider nacl na has the atomic number or the total number of electrons in sodium is 
11 electrons. If we write its electronic configuration, 1 a square, 2 a square, 2p6, 3s1. That means the outermost shell, here this is a 1 shell, 1 a square, 2 a square, 2p6, okay. And here is the outermost shell. It contains 1 electrons in its outermost shell. That means it's unstable now. This NaCl is unstable. No, not NaCl. This Na is unstable. If I consider the chlorine, it has 17 electrons, total number of electrons. Electronic configuration 1 square, 2 square, 2p6, 3 square, and 3p5. Again, I am dividing this 1 square, 2 square, 2p6. Yeah, totally there are 7 electrons in its outermost shell. 7 valence electrons. That means it is also unstable. 1 square, 2 square, 2p6, 3 square, 3p6, 3d10. Totally 18 electrons in this here only 7 is there so if this chlorine atom get one electron then it becomes 8 that is half filled octet structure so it becomes somewhat stable so what this chlorine will do means it asks this sodium to give this one electrons and this sodium It also don't want this electron, one electron, because it will become stable to a square 2p6. So, it gives its one electrons to the chlorine. That means it leaves one a square, two a square, 2p6. It leaves the one electrons. But when it leaves its one electron, it will become positively positive, positive charge. Here, chlorine gets one electron. That means one a square, two a square, 2p6, 3 square, 3p6. So it becomes negative. Positive and negative. That means there should be a force of attraction between these two. That is the ionic bond. Here is my Na and its uh, outermost electron 1. And here is the chlorine, outermost 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, this one electron, it will share with this chlorine. This becomes positive and negative. So, Na plus and Cl minus. The bond formed between these two ions. This is the ionic bond. It's like give and take policy. Na give and Cl will take. Now let's see about the covalent bonding. It's a covalent bond. Okay, let's see about the covalent bonding. This is a bond which is formed by the sharing of the electrons. But in three-dimensional solids, by only doing this covalent bond it is not able to build the three dimensional solids so it has some ionic or hydrogen bonds along with this covalent bond covalent bond means it's a mutual sharing mutual sharing of electrons uh, best example is the chlorine Cl, it's a unstable. Cl2 is stable. Why means uh, the chlorine, it has 7 valence electrons. Chlorine, it has 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It has 7 valence electrons. And here is a another chlorine atom 
this also has seven valence electrons five six seven what this chlorine will do is it ask this chlorine to give one of its electrons so that it will become stable this chlorine also asks one electron from this chlorine what these two chlorine will do means they share one one electrons from these two atoms it means this chlorine give this atom to this it means shares this chlorine shares this atom to this so this chlorine atom now one this one two three four five six seven eight this also will become eight so it will become stable so the monos monochlorine atom it's a unstable so it forms the cl2 molecule next example is the silicon in silicon it has four valence electrons silicon okay 1 2 3 4 here is another silicon 1 2 3 4 how much electrons it need to make eight electrons it need another four electrons so what this silicon will do means it will form four bonds four covalent bonds with the neighboring silicon that means it will form like this so it this silicon atom get one electron from this silicon atom this also get one again here another silicon atom is there 1 2 3 4 so again it shares like this and here again one silicon atom 1 2 3 4 4 again shares like this and here one 1 2 3 4 shares like this so this silicon now it has 1 2 3 4 4 4 of its original its own electrons and 4 shared pair shared electrons so this get the eight electrons that is the octet structure so this will become stable all these silicon atoms will do the same things it will share with the here is another atom is there there are lots of atoms it will share like this and like it will continue like that so it will become stable and the third one is the metallic bond here uh, it's uh, somewhat different when compared to covalent and uh, uh, that one ionic bonds in metallic bonds the sharing of variable number of electrons by variable number of atoms that means there are lots of atoms lots of electrons they will share like uh, uh, it's like if here is one metal okay metal uh, atom and uh, it has only one electron in its outermost shell okay then here also on metal it has one electron metal atom is there all have just one electron in its outermost shell this metallic bond uh, it usually takes place in only those atoms having the small number of valence electrons that means one or two the valent electrons number should be small and these electrons the, um, the atom leaves all these electrons to a common pool that means it don't want these electrons so it leaves to a common pool it leaves to the common pool this is a pool of electrons okay or uh, we may call this as the electron cloud or full of electrons this is the electron cloud it means lots of electrons are there in metallic bond these electrons are free the electrons which is thrown out from this metal atom are free so metals conduct electricity uh, if we consider an example fe2 plus okay 
here f is there what it will do means this f e single atom uh, it is unstable because it has two valence electrons in its outermost shell so what this f e will do means it will throw out those two electrons to the electron cloud and here is one fe it will throw these electrons to the electron cloud cloud means to the surrounding space and when it loses two electrons it will become positive so fe2 plus fe2 plus fe2 plus this is a positive now and this electron means it is negative so positive and negative that means there is a attractive force that's the metallic bond attractive force means these electrons can at, uh, develop attractive force between these fe and it's a random process while moving uh, it can develop attractive force between any of these atoms that's the metallic bond thank you